Hi, my name is Olu. Welcome to my channel. Let's get right into it. All you need as far as products are the Nairobi Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion and Gorilla Glue. I have 4C hair. If you use anything but these, there are no substitutes. These are the only things that have ever kept my hair down and also allowed the curls to show up in my hair. So as far as products, these are the two things you need. I've had these for over a year. They're still like 70% full. So you're not running out of them anytime soon. As far as stuff, we need a brush. It could be this brush, it could be this brush, it could be this brush, you get it. Black girls, we have all the brushes. This brush is my favorite right now. The yellow is making me happy and it kind of matches my shirt. Okay, so we need this. We need something pointy to create your part. It could be this, it could be this, could be this. Doesn't matter so long as it has the sharp tool at the end to create a part. And then this, there is no substitute for this one. This is a, one of those horse bristle, is it horse bristle? Horse bristle? B boar bristle. <laughs> a boar bristle brush. This one just happened to be red premium. They did a collaboration with some black star and I was like, let me support because I'm rooting for everybody black. So we got our brushes, we got our combs, you will need water. Mine has water and aloe vera in here. Whatever you typically use, obviously a scrunchie. I recommend these, these are the French scrunchies because it doesn't crease your hair. I also recommend silk scrunchies, but those stretch out when you're doing this bun because I leave them in for like two, three days. And then you need these little strips. This is actually what creates the curl pattern that you'll see when we get through with this. Okay, first we take down our hair. My hair is freshly washed. However, I actually recommend doing this on dirty hair, except that mine was so dirty, it was like a month since I'd washed it, because I was in braids. I was in braids, y'all know the drill. We in braids, I just kept it very moisturized and oiled up, I just did not wash it because I knew that I was only keeping those braids in for a short period of time. So we're taking out all my twists. There is enough oil on my hair because this is a fresh um, twist that I didn't have to put oil on my hair, but if you didn't, if it wasn't as oily, add oil to your hair before you do your takedown. I don't know if you want to see how I unravel. I feel like you should know how to unravel, but maybe it's different. I kind of twist it to find where they separate and then follow it. We got a twist. We twist it in the opposite direction till it comes apart. Oh no! Okay, see, it's about to knock to lock at the end. I will grab both pieces, find the bottom, and pull it straight down so that the knot doesn't lock in there. I don't know, it's just the way it's just the way that I found that leads to the least amount of damage. And especially because I've cut four inches off my hair already this year, which is a year's worth of growth. I'm being extra gentle and doing the things I know my hair likes. Oh. This would be such a beautiful twist out. That's why I say you should do it on. Oh, look at that. It's such a perfect little curl. Yeah, I like to do it on old hair because fresh hair, like I would want to wear it. Anyway, I'm giving myself a head massage because we're about to fuck it all up anyway. And a head massage stimulates growth. It feels great. It allows your scalp to really get the oils distributed. Mm. I'm using the pads of my fingers. All right. We separate the hair in the middle. However far back you want it. Be gentle, your hair could break while doing this. Could be a little straighter. I don't know that I necessarily care how, like for it to be perfect. That's straight enough for me, for sure. I don't, like if I was doing two low ponies or two low buns, then I would go all the way back since I am not. 
I'm going to leave. Yeah, I think this is enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, for the front, again, my hair is already moisturized, so it's, it's fine for me to kind of start brushing it like this, especially in the front. If your hair is not moisturized, you would put your water in first. I mean, I guess I can do that now as well. Just a little bit because my hair is moisturized. If your hair is not moisturized, if it's a bit dry, add more water. All right, all right, all right. Okay. I'm only doing the front section, as you can see, because again, that's the part that needs to be. Plus, if you leave some of the curls out in the back like this, you'll have texture in your bun, which is kind of what I want. Okay, now is your time to douse your hair with water. Again, you don't need to take out the twist or these thick twists in the back. You don't need to do anything with them. They provide texture at the end. Okay, that seems like enough water. And immediately, as fast as you can, you grab your Gorilla Glue. You put your Gorilla Glue in your hand. Rub it. There is actually no purpose, like, chemically to the rubbing, but that it's spread against your hand so it can get in a further area on your head. I really hope that made sense. Okay, you can see it's already slicking. It's already slicking. It's already slicking. I don't know what is in here, but it be working. Nothing else and you can see that it's starting to like curl up put the gel in the back of your hair as well okay, you're rubbing it through you're rubbing it through and now you grab your boar bristle brush and you br you see how it smooths it out only a boar bristle brush don't go and get the cheap one I'm sorry you're gonna need to buy the expensive one even though the expensive one is like 14 bucks I think maybe 30 but I live in New York. I think it's 30 because I'm in New York. I don't think it's 30 in general. Now I see why I was talking about the middle part. I usually have two bands with me, two of these, because I think it provides less tension on the hair if I create two buns in the back. Okay, add extra water if your hair is dried. Damn, just, I definitely just slapped myself in the face with water. All right, there we go. Now, as I'm doing it, you'll see it doesn't look perfect. Don't worry about that. Do not worry about that. I think I'm going for like a Lori Harvey bun, so like, like a little less than 50% low, I guess, but not all the way at the bottom. And I would bring the, I'll bring the side of hair closer to the middle because we're gonna join them at the end. Ooh, make sure you don't get hair from the other side caught in the pony. All right. Other side, water to refresh. Brush it back. Kind of bring it in closer to the other bun. Again. As close as we can to the other bun. I mean, you're just feeling it out. I obviously can't see the back of my head. Okay, now, when you get to the required tightness for this right side and the pony is on this side, you twist it and you grab both buns, both buns. I don't know if you can see, 
You grab both buttons in the same hand and then use this to collect both buttons. Okay, almost there. And honestly, if you're like jogging, working out, like going to the grocery store, I could honestly leave it just like this, but we want it to be sleek. I'm strolling today. And so I want my hair to look nice and neat. Now, don't worry about the amounts, okay? You just gotta disregard how much you're using. There's a lot of it in here. And now you just add some more <laughs> on top. As you can see, my line. No, it looks it looks neat. Please. And then you just smooth it in, trying to get all the little hairs flat. See, gotta use some more. Might need a little bit more water on this side. The best part about this Gorilla Glue is that it does not turn white or anything. So it doesn't matter how much you put inside. And wonderfully, my hair was already, was already moisturized because I had just washed my hair. Now, the blue Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion from Nairobi. I honestly never know what thing, this thing is called. I just know that I got a point at the blue lotion in the, uh, in the hair store. And again, rub it. There's no function to the rubbing. And then you add it in here. It's gonna be a lot. Add it in here. I had no idea that this w was used for molding and shaping hair. It's only with like me starting to wear wigs and people talking about what they use this for that I realized that I could use it on my actual hair. Okay, you see this is the product that allows like my hair to start looking curly as if I'm not an African. <laughs> I added, I've done about 12 pumps in this hair already. Totally fine. Again, this has never turned white for me. Okay, we've been concentrating on the front. Do the same thing for this hump in the back, this part right here. Because you want that part to wave up and be moldable as well. Okay, okay. For me, I'm not so concerned about the bun itself, like this part, like I'm totally fine with it looking like it's Afro. If you are not, maybe let me know and I'll do an extra tutorial for making the bun match. <laughs> like I don't, I don't really care, especially when there's like evidence of curliness. Okay, now do a little bit of a brush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting closer so you can see what I'm doing. All right, do a little brush on this side. At the top, all the way around, okay? Do it in the back too. Add some molding to the back. Slick it. This was just extra. Ow! I've been getting very clumsy lately. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, this looks like enough product when it feels like you doused it in water, it's enough product. You have your strip. These were two strips. I think I need three. 
So now I haven't stretched the strip. This is just the regular strip. I slowly stretch the strip from the middle and add it onto the edges of my hair very gently. You want to get it tight, but the strip will rip, obviously. So, as tight as you can, and tie it up. Again, do the same thing. Stretch it in the middle very gently. Lay it on the next part of the hair. Stretch, stretch, stretch as you're pulling it to the back. Tie it up. I think the tying it up will take a little bit of practice. You've got to be both gentle and firm. I don't really know how to describe it, but um, yeah. You can also see the texture forming. I love that for me. And then one more for the back of the head. Okay, stretch in the center, place it on the head. Stretch. No! Well, I do it again. Okay. There we go. I do double knots. You don't have to if yours doesn't slide. And then you wait for it to fully dry. You can either get underneath the dryer, but I did this kind of early, I don't have to leave for two hours, and I think it takes about 15 minutes to dry um, when you're just normally walking around and living your life. This liquid right here, you can really know that it's dry when all of the little rapid strips are this color. Like there's no like liquid coming out of it. And I'm back. Ah! All we do now that it's dry, it might actually be just a teensy weensy little bit wet, but it's time for me to go. I think it's three. I'm even saying that I think. I think it's three and I was supposed to be there for, or I'm supposed to be there for 3.30. Okay. Come on, work with me. Anyway, all you do is remove it. You see it. Okay. You see it? My hair doesn't naturally do that. You want to start undoing the twist back? Does that make sense? There we go. Yeah, it's still just a touch wet. And to be honest, I could put some gel, like gel that actually works on me there, but I feel like it's fine. I just need some earrings and some pearls, and I'm all done. Yeah. And it's like 90 degrees outside, so as soon as I walk out there, it'll dry. So thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Let me know if you plan to do this look. Tag me in pictures on Instagram. <laughs>